Now we will consider the muscles of the posterior compartment of the leg. First looking at the superficial muscles. The most superficial muscle would be this muscle here, which is the gastrocnemius muscle. The gastrocnemius muscle has two heads. There's a medial head right over here and a lateral head right over here. And both these heads have origins near their respective condyles on the femur. Both heads will insert over here by way of the calcanean tendon, also known as the Achilles tendon, onto the posterior side of the calcaneus. The gastrocnemius muscle plantar flexes the foot at the ankle joint, but it will also, because it crosses the knee joint, flex the leg at the knee joint. Immediately underneath the gastrocnemius muscle, we find another muscle in the posterior compartment the soleus. You can see a little bit of it over here. We can see some more of it if we remove the medial head, part of the medial head of the gastrocnemius. And here is some more of the soleus muscle. The soleus muscle has an origin on both the tibia and the fibula, and it inserts along with the gastrocnemius by way of the calcanean tendon onto the posterior calcaneus. Uh, the soleus will only plantar flex the foot at the ankle joint. Because it doesn't cross the knee joint, it will not be flexing the leg at the knee joint as the gastrocnemius does.